Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about some advanced features, some advanced settings of the uh, alias feature in .NET Nook. So let's, first of all, let's log into this test site. As you can see, this is a DNN562. And let's log into the backend as super user. And I'm going to show exactly what I'm talking about, what I'm referring to. So the those advanced settings uh, regarding portal alias are located under admin, site settings. And if you scroll all the way down under advanced settings and under portal aliases. Now, the first option that we have here is the portal alias mapping mode. And we have three options. By default, the canonical one comes selected. Now, what is the difference between, um, from non-canonical and redirect? So, um, let's, let's start with canonical. Canonical basically means that, that search engines will use this URL as canonical. For instance, if, uh, if we have two alias for for this for this portal, and we're gonna have that example uh, in just a second, but if we have two two alias, we can select by by choosing the default alias which one should be the canonical for this portal. So we could select in this dropdown. So this option portal alias mapping mode works together with the default alias. They they work. Hand in hand. Now, this is the canonical, so canonical will work together with default alias, and the selected alias will be uh, the canonical one used for search engines. Now, the third one, which is the redirect. In this case, what will happen is that the, the selected alias that is set as the default alias will be redirected to so let me let me get that clear, more clear. If we have two alias and uh, we we have the first one as the default and the mode is set to redirect, if the site is accessed by the second alias, what will happen is that automatically the URL will be redirected to the default alias, which is uh, portal one, which is uh, URL one. Now let's 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 try a real example. Of, of those things. But before we go that far, let me explain, because this will all tie together. Let me explain what auto add portal alias checkbox means. This, this basically means this is a way that dot uh, .duke can automatically create new alias in case, uh, in case there are URLs mapped to this portal, but they are not added into the alias list yet. So let's, let's go through a, through a real example on that one. Right now, we just have this alias for this portal. We just have slash. This is running in my local host. So I'm running under DNN562, which is the, the alias. Now we could add another alias by clicking new alias or we could see the auto add portal alias uh, taking effect if I create another uh, application in my in my local IIS pointing to the same site. It could also be another domain if you have a live site. You could have both domains point to the same site files. But let's let me give a, a, a real example here. I'm gonna go to my local IIS. Here's my local IIS. This is this site that uh, this is the the application that is that I'm running here, DNN five six two. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to create another application that will also point to the same folder as DNN five six two, but it has a different name. So for instance, if I right click here in my default web, I click add application. I'm just going to call this dot net nook. Five six two, and the physical path will be the same one used for uh, in this existing application. So I'm gonna 
find that right now under inet pub www.root www.root and then here's my application here's my folder dnn562 i click ok i click ok here as well so here's my new application now this is not set up yet as a portal alias. So in older versions of uh, DNN, if I try to access this URL, I'm, I would be getting an error there uh, because because this portal, it, this alias is not set up in the portal yet. So what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to open this site, the existing site in Internet Explorer. And instead of accessing using this, URL, I'm going to type in the new one, which is .tatook562. Before I do that, before I hit enter, let's go back here to Firefox. And as you can see, there's just one alias now. Now, again, the auto add portal alias is checked. So let's see what will happen when I try to access the site from another URL, which is already mapped to the site. Let's give it a try here. Hit enter. It's getting connected. So as you can see, I didn't get an error, and it's running under localhost.net 5.2562. Now, if I go back to Firefox, and if I refresh this page, let's see the list again of portal alias, advanced settings, portal alias. Now, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't have to create this manually. The portal alias, the new one, was automatically added to the portal. So what made this uh, possible is this checkbox. If this checkbox was unchecked, then the new alias would, would not have been created at all. Now let's go back a little bit here to canonical and redirect. I have uh, set as the default alias the, the first alias. Now, as, I, as you can see, I have the option to select which one I want to make the default alias. Now let's try to use the redirect option here. If I click on redirect and I say that, and I keep this one selected, what will happen is that if I try to access the site via the second URL, it will automatically redirect me to the first URL, okay, to the default alias. So let's try that. Let's keep this selected. Let's update and just confirm that things are not cached here. I'm going to go to host, host settings. And I'm going to restart this website just to make sure. Okay, so it's restarted. Now I'm going to go back to Internet Explorer and I'm going to try to access the site again by the same URL. As you can see, the URL has changed automatically to the first alias. So this is what the redirect option is doing for us. If you go back, admin, site settings, and Expand advanced settings, portal aliases. So this is what the redirect is doing for us. It's redirecting from one alias to another one. There are multiple uh, possibilities of, of use of that. If you want to move from one domain to another one, you can do a, a redirect if both of them are running under the same DNN uh, instance. So this was just a quick overview of those advanced settings under portal aliases. And those options, they were added very, very recently. Okay, thank you very much and bye for now.